Oh, good morning. Happy Friday. Ugh. Quick day at work today. That was fast. Five hour Friday. Not bad, not bad. And we're off to... Errands. That was fast. I tried to deposit a check that I got for that wedding I filmed, but they wrote it based off of my Gmail name, which I changed for this YouTube channel. And you can't deposit a check that's not in your name. Now I gotta email them and be like, hey, could you write another check? Because the one you wrote before is the uh, wrong name because I'm a vlogger now. Speaking of email, James responded. James responded. <laughs> but I haven't responded in a week just for you. Let's see what he said. Hello, Matthew. I'm glad you made it back safely. All is well here. We dodge a bullet with this storm. Minor damage. Lost power for about 20 some. Few, shing few singles on the roof. <laughs> when the storm is dropping singles on your roof. <laughs> we lost some branches. No one was injured by the grace of God. Amen. Send me a copy of that thing we did on the plane. So take care and be safe, James. Uh, James is the man. And he's got singles on his roof. Let us respond. James, so glad you and your fiance are safe after the storm. Thank God. The video we filmed on our flight is still in the works, but it's almost done. I just started. I'll definitely be sure to send it your way as soon as I finish, Matt. Especially if you're in that like event and nonprofit world and trying to pivot out of it, it's like I always say that overkilling those projects is so much of like anything that has gotten me work outside of that. It's just like taking jobs that totally didn't justify what we did. For Put a link to the podcast right here. It, well, went through. See that work, they're like, Well, that looks dope. Like, let's hire you to do, you know, X, Y. So, as, as, bro, super secret film cast hosted by Evan Boisier. Uh, highly recommend it. It's all about cinematography, cinema, photography, DP stuff, interviews, conversations. It's great and I get the privilege of editing it whenever new episodes come around. Speaking of film and cinematography. Cinema photography. I got a box from Lens Rentals. Also, how the heck did it get dark out so fast, you ask? Allow me to tell you the story about how I finally got this box. It all started Monday when I ordered the contents of said box to be delivered on Thursday. Perfect, Thursday. Got a text Wednesday telling me that my signature was required. Sweet, got here a day early, but uh, no one was at my apartment complex, no one at the front desk to sign for the package. So I, I assumed it would go to the nearest pickup area. So after work, Wednesday, I went to the nearest pickup area on Mineral Point, and the kind lady behind the desk told me that unless I had it by default set to that location, it would go back to the hub. Who knows where the hub is? I do now. I did not want my package going back to the hub, hub, hub. So I gave them a call and asked them instead to have the box dropped off at the second nearest pickup point on Deming Way. They said, sure. Would you like to receive text updates? Of course. Welcome, reply yes to opt in to receive future notifications on packages you want to track. Yes, FedEx says thank you, blah, blah, blah. In transit, estimated delivery to Middleton, 921, Thursday, perfect. Signature address required. Unable to deliver, track for details. Signature address required. Schedule for delivery tomorrow at 922. Uh, on Friday. Schedule for delivery today, on Friday. Unable to deliver, track for details. Signature address required. It is at this point in time that I go through the circus of hoops that is the FedEx phone line to call the pickup place on Deming Way to ask if my package is there. The package is there. Half the package. The other half is not there. I get there and I get the box. It clearly says, two of two. Ask the kind man behind the counter. Where is one of two? I don't know. It is not there. Where is my other box? He sends me to the hub. Hub, hub, hub. By the airport. A 30 minute drive away. So I drive to the airport. Excuse me, I drive to, I drive to the hub, hub, hub. On Kinsman Road, Avenue Drive, Boulevard. Boulevard. Walk in, give him my tracking number. She says, she says, oh, this is a ground transportation tracking number. We definitely don't have this box. But you might want to check, but you might want to check the hub on Hanson. So 
I drive over to the Hanson Hub, cut to scene. Walk into the security area and ask the two kind ladies if my package is present. They call the people with the packages, the people call back. It is in a truck. I suspect the same truck that brought this package to Deming Way. That same truck still had this package and it wouldn't be back to the Hanson Hub until 6.30. It's now 5 o'clock and I'm hungry and not impressed. Cut to scene. Not impressed, FedEx. Not impressed. Not impressed. Not impressed. So I go to Mod Pizza, which is a, a wonderful place to eat pizza. Cut to scene. Hello, could I get the uh, dog? Not a bad place to be waiting for a package. The pizza was delicious, but I was not happy. I thought this would be a short package acquiring trip, so I did not bring my camera. All I had was the snap. Right when I was about to place a little bitmoji of myself dancing on my empty plate, my phone battery died. All was lost. That's when I uh, decided to look beyond myself. I had been very inwardly focused. When my phone battery died, I was free. I looked up and I saw a sign. I actually saw three signs. <coughs> And on these three signs were three hand gestures. Peace, love, and rock. I've been trying to think of a way to sign off the vlog for a while now. I've been trying to think of different styles for the vlog. I've been trying to, I don't know, just think about how I can shape it and make it my own. But I'm realizing over time that this is not something I can just decide and make happen per se. It's something that needs to be worked out over time. Sitting around and thinking about it won't necessarily change it. Uh, but doing a vlog week after week after week will change how I do it. But I think I finally discovered how I'm going to sign off each week, and that is peace, love, and rock on. But the story is not over. Neither is the vlog. So I got my pizza, went back to the package place, busted through security, cut to scene. I done made it through security. I will film this wedding. Also, dang, look at that sun. Infiltrated the hub of FedEx in southern Wisconsin, or just Madison, or probably just infiltrated the hub. Of FedEx. Got my package. And I was... Very happy. Cut to see. Yeah, I'm glowing with sun and happiness. I have my box. Praise the Lord. What if those were all Transformers? And that, my friend, is why it is dark out. <clears throat> so, last week, you got to see some clips from my very first ever wedding shoot. Flashback to that. Matt, what's your gear situation? What are you using to shoot uh, your wedding? Gzz. What's your gear? Well, it just so happens that I'm filming my second ever wedding tomorrow and I need to run through all my gear. So here it is. So my camera of choice is the Sony a7S. It is absolutely spectacular. It shoots 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, and 30 slash 24, I believe both in 4K. Uh, during weddings, I'm always using either 60 or 120 frames per second, so you can go slow motion or super slow motion with every Everything you shoot, it has amazing low light capabilities as you probably already know, which is perfect when you're shooting an event, a wedding, where you don't have control over the light. That is why, among other things, I love the Sony A7S. Whew. For glass, I use the Rokinon. I use the I use the Rokinon DS Cinema lenses. I have a set of three. You got your 35, got your 24, got your 85. And so, and then on top of that, and then on top, and then on top of that, I will include the Tiffin Variable ND filter. And what this and what this does is allows me to lower the amount of light coming into the lens without messing with my aperture. So I can keep my so I can keep my so I can keep my lens wide open and get the maximum depth of field capabilities. Dang it. And what this basically allows me to do is shoot wide open with a super narrow depth of field and super bright sunlight, which is great when you're shooting outside, uh, getting those sunset, getting those sunset sunset shots. Uh, tomorrow's wedding will all will be all outside, so this is perfect for that. Basically, it's two uh, two filters that, when rotated, get closer to closer and farther away from each other to create the variable ND. 
So super helpful for shooting outside. Very bright, keep your depth of field low, shoot wide open, it's, it's great. Around my camera, I will have the this Film City camera cage made especially for the made especially for the Sony A7S. Uh, I actually got the camera used and this came with it and I'm so glad it did. It's got this and it's got an attachment you can put right there for a whole bunch of different holding protection. It is what it is. I'm not sure if I would have bought it alone, but having it, very grateful. Second battery, third battery, second SD card. My Zoom H5, I use this to plug into the DJ's board and get the speeches if the client wants the speeches. I used the speeches in my last slash first wedding video and they really liked uh, mixing that into the final cut. XLR audio cable to get the audio from the board into the H5. Usually just ask the DJ if they can send signal to your uh, audio player. And the DJ at my first wedding was super amazing, so that was nice. And last but not least, Glide Cam. Glide Cam basically allows for super steady shots. Put the camera on this thing and these weights balance it out. You remember the Glide Cam from uh, that other video. You remember the Glide Cam. And this is the one piece of gear I do not own. If I continue to do weddings, I'll be looking to buy it because it allows for extremely smooth shots. It's beautiful. But until then, I'll be happy to rent from Lens Rentals. And there it all is, my wedding set up in its full glory, piled up on my desk. But what about the other box? This is just a camcorder we're going to use to film the whole launch service of Harvest Bible Chapel Madison this Sunday. Uh, just going to sit in the back on a tripod and film the whole thing. Speaking of launch service Sunday, speaking of launch service Sunday, I still have flyers. I still have flyers. And you know I'm going to have no time to put, and you know I'm not going to have any time to put these up tomorrow. It is 8.35. I have an hour and 25 minutes before everything closes. We're going to hang up some flyers. Don't hold. Have you ever felt like your day's already ended? Twice. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> Saturday morning, wedding shoot in one and a half hour. It's time to get ready. Stretchy pants for movement, sneakers for endurance, hairband for visibility. Let's get married by bleachers. See you in 12 hours. What a day. I'm exhausted. Bunch of cakes. Alright, bye. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Let's plant a church. Shall we? We'll talk later. Woo! We just planted a church. At Philippi, with the overseers and deacons, he sort of sees how he tips his hat to the fact that there's an established church now. Roll the clip. This glorify faithful. Cinema photography. I am so exhausted. But like, not even from today. Yesterday's wedding <coughs> was <coughs> brutal. <coughs> okay, I'm fine. Uh, but it was so good. Uh, so something very unfortunate happened at the end of my time yesterday at the wedding. And that is, I had my SD card. Put it in the SD card holder. For some reason I didn't put it in my backpack, I put it in my pocket. It'll be safe in here. 
I proceeded to put my keys in my pocket. They'll be safe in there. I make this motion. Let's see that again. Replay. I make that motion. And I think at that moment, it pulled with it, the, my keys pulled with it the SD card and all of its contents. Thankfully, I had, at the reception, unloaded all of the footage onto my laptop. So I have all the footage, moral of the story, but I don't have an SD card, a second SD card. And those really come in handy. And I realized this halfway home last night, and I, the, the parking area where they pick you up to bring you to the lodge is just like overgrown everywhere. And it was super dark and it was super late and I was super done. So I came back, but I think I should go and try to find the SD card because it's like $60. <sighs> so that's what we're gonna do. Guys, I found the most grateful man in the world. It's me. Oh. Yes. <coughs> Thank the good Lord. The good Lord is good. I think this calls for some. Mother lover, you gon' love it. Graduated from a rebel to a revolutionary in my area, they love it. Can I just say, I am grateful for this. I am grateful for the opportunity to film a friend, a co-worker's most special day. I am grateful to be a part of the coolest church plant alive, because we are alive. I am grateful for groceries, quesadillas, a hot Dale Bunt cake, mm. my family, <laughs> for my car. What the, the heck is that? The heck is that? That. Freaking that. And I am grateful for you. If you have not already, and you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, and the like button, and comment, and uh, uh, thank you so much for joining me in all my adventures. Until next time, peace, love, and rock on. Uh.